senior hurdler Kieran Stewart is with us as well. I'll ask you the same thing I asked Hayden just a few moments ago. I mean, you're getting ready to graduate, right? What does that mean? And being from Kingston, Jamaica, coming to the United States and attaining your degree, what that means to you? Uh, it means a lot, you know. Um, graduating is one of those bittersweet moments. It's like you're glad it's all done. All the academic stuff is over with. You know, you only can focus on what you, you know, track and what you love. But at the same time, you realize that you are leaving all the friendships that you have made here over the four years, the camaraderie that you have built, you know, not only with the athletes, but with like, the coaching staff and the trainers and even the academic center people. It's just one of those moments that, you know, you just have to take every, you just have to take every opportunity and just cherish it. You know, Bubba, I'm always curious to get the thoughts of the coaches on the difference between student athletes from inside the United States versus outside the United States and the, and the differences and similarities in their approach, not only to their degree, but how they approach their responsibilities on the track. And I want to get your thoughts about, Kieran, what you've seen out of him throughout his time at UT coming in from Jamaica. You know, you, you get a, a fierce competitor. Uh, I, I've always said guys from Jamaica are a lot like Texans. Uh, strong character, fierce competitors, a little hard-headed. Uh, and uh, when they when they see the path, they go after it. Uh, I don't think we understand a lot of times that when they hit campus, it's the first time they've been on a, a campus, first time in the in the building, first time in that kind of room. And Kieran came in and just made friends. His personality. I mean, uh, he he. You can't say enough. And I know it wasn't easy, uh, but here's another guy that uh, multiple All-American graduating in four years. And th that was the goal all along for you, wasn't it, Kieran? Yeah, it was a goal to graduate in four years. At the start, it didn't seem possible because it's my first time away from home for that period of time. You know, growing up, I was basically considered like a mama's boy. You know, I'd grow up with my mom a lot, and just to. Uh, I had to give up a few things, you know, like give up a couple of summers to graduate on time and just go through the grind. Just through the grind of You uh, are, the, are the school record holder in the 60 meter and the 110 meter hurdles and you hold 14 of the top 18 finishes in the 60 meters. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Coming from this great university, knowing that you are one of the top athletes that will be mentioned your name is on the wall for future athletes to come in and hopefully try to break, you know, because records are meant to be broken and just to keep the tradition going. You know, Bubba, I asked you earlier uh, about Hayden and the neck injury and student athletes going through. Kieran also had a battle through a leg injury in the outdoor season mm -hmm. as well. And again, I, that, that tests. Uh, uh, an athlete's strength, endurance, his will, and all that sort of stuff, and it puts you in that unique position of how you have to uh, try to help them through something like that. We've always taken uh, the position, the last meet's the most important one, and their career is the most important. Uh, we've, we've had, uh, just like Hayden, uh, evaluations uh, about his injury. We had to make some really tough and timely uh, decisions. Uh, it would have been real nice to have had him at the Big 12 championships. Uh, uh, but when it got right time to make that decision, there really wasn't a decision. We held him out. The team surrounded him. He be we won the championship. And now he has a chance to help our team uh, finish uh, really well at the national championships. Uh, but again, it's a credit to that character that I talked about, that, that walk, you know. Uh, he's, uh, he's one of the guys. Is it, was it difficult for you, Cameron, to, to have to, to know that you were going to have to miss out on the conference championships your senior year? It was more than difficult, you know, because to see my team out there putting their all, their all on the line, and then... While I watched the point standings, I saw at one point it was like 94 to 93.5, us losing. And I was like, if I had been out there, that would have been an easy 15, 12-point swing, you know? 
And, and that's the way a champion thinks, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's just one of those things where you have to weather the storm and just fight through, you know, the brighter days are ahead. So what is it you want to accomplish next week starting off with the outdoor regionals? Just make it to make it through to the national meet. It's, it would be my first race back in a couple of weeks, maybe like a month and a half, two months. So it's just to go through, get the race done, come back out healthy, and then move on from there to the national meet. All right, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked my son, who just graduated last week. What will you do with a degree in communications? Because <laughs> he yeah. just graduated once, so I ask you that. What, yeah. What's your plan for the future? My plan is to go through the HR, go through human resources departments. So I think I have to get like a few certifications because I didn't do the HR de degree plan mm -hmm. in communication. So you have to get like a few qualifications done, but that's just paperwork and a few classes, I guess. So that's, that shouldn't be too hard. And then go through HR and build my resume from there.